Hey guys, Thunder E here, and if the title didn't give it away, then the lights did. I've got the Xbox Series X in-house, and I am excited. So let's not waste any time and just go ahead and unbox this bad boy. Xbox, 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 unboxing, hey, unboxing. His box time. His box. His box. His box. His box. His box. All right, Singala. I know you're excited. I'm excited too. But let's go ahead and open up this box to see how it looks inside. And I gotta say though, I like the special packaging just for the shipment box. Hopefully, if you buy it online from Microsoft, you get that kind of packaging. It's really nice. And again, it just shows the kind of detail they're going for with the Series X uh, launch right now. So. Let's take a closer look. Let's dive in, right? Black and green. You can see the Series X on the box. You see Xbox logo, 4K 120, one terabyte, velocity architecture. Let's see what's else on the other side and, and see what kind of lettering we're getting on the system. Okay, so this tells us right here, 4K 120 uh, in terms of gameplay, 8K HDR. We'll see what, what we get eventually. Velocity architecture, which does some great stuff. One terabyte VRR, which is really important. Make sure your TV has that functionality and 4K Blu-ray. And in the box, we'll be getting a console controller. Uh, we're also going to get HDMI 2.1 cables, really important. And of course, it's Wi-Fi capable. Remember, this is Wi-Fi 5, the Wi-Fi 6 uh, as a console. Now, Master Chief at the back, I wish Halo launched with the console, but you know what? I don't even care. Let's go ahead and open this up. Let's see what we have and peel this all open because I'm excited to actually go ahead and power the system on at some point and do a lot more. Now, I can't show you the system on in this video. We're saving it for another video because we're under embargo, but you get the idea of how things actually look with the Xbox uh, Series X packaging. So this is it, nice and clean, power your dreams. That's some good stuff, Microsoft, I like the packaging. You know that's the Series X right there. Definitely smaller than the PS5, uh, but it's a nice nifty system and we're gonna take that, set it aside, uh, and let's look at what else we have in the packaging. Then uh, we've got uh, some uh, material down there showing you you know how to put in the batteries in your console turn it on uh the ports and also how to actually set it up with the app stay tuned for that video because microsoft has a new way to set up your console now the top flap there we do have hdmi 2.1 cables really important to get the all those features that are built into the xbox series x your power plug because the power supply is built into the console again which is great Glad we are away from those days. And the brand new controller. So, okay, let's let's take a look, let's look at that controller and see how well it looks. So we've got the controller here. Actually, we've got double A batteries. I know some people don't like that, but I'm glad they always in, include it. Uh, we've got the controller next to the other controller. Similar style, of course, uh, but some interesting changes. Uh, you've got that new button in the center right there. And then you've also got a change D-pad. So the D-pad's different. I like the new look of the D-pad. Uh, just it reminds me of the Elite controller. Um, now, a closer look at the controller itself. It feels, I like the grips behind it. It's a nice surface area so that when you're sweating and you're playing these long gameplay sessions, it feels comfortable to hold. Uh, even the triggers have some grips as well. So you know, playing racing games, you're always accelerating, shooters. Uh, you get a nice feel. Oh, and yep, yeah, USB Type-C charging. So that's actually, I mean, connectors, that's actually pretty cool. Of course, your sync button as well. Um, so, all right, let's see what else we have here. But you know what? Forget that. Let's go ahead and open up our Xbox Series X. So pull that sleeve aside, set it, just throw it away. We, we, we want to see the console. This is nice, nice wrapping. I'm glad the consoles are coming to look refreshed. And there it is. Woohoo! Yes, as the colonel would say, Sezi is coming out. <laughs> yes, look at that Sezi individual. Hmm. Has boss series, has all the way. This is Conor Singala. He has taken over because I'm looking at the Sezi thing. Look at that green. I know it's painted in, but it looks really fresh. Okay, colonel, get up. All right, let's let sorry guys, let's move back to what we have here with the Series X. So you've got that big fan there to basically blow out all the hot air uh, in the system. Uh, you've got feet on the side right here, which means you can lay it flat, which is pretty cool. You've got your Blu-ray drive here and the eject button, USB port, 
sync button and of course the Xbox button. You're going to notice, I apologize for that. You're going to notice that this is a fingerprint magnet, though, by the way. Um, and you've got vents all over the place. Vents at the bottom. We do have power plug. We've got Ethernet right there, two USB type C's. And of course, the storage expansion slot, which I can't wait to go ahead and play with. Uh, this is, this is just, I'm, look, I'm excited and just ready to put the system on. And then, of course, we also have the stand. So when you're placing it down, you can actually place this down on a surface. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, let's go ahead and round this video up. But I'm telling you, I agree with the colonel, though. This is looking quite sezzy. All the way sezzy. Look, honestly, the Xbox Series X is a dope console. And we know now it is definitely smaller than the PS5. I don't have that to compare. But when you look at it side by side to the Xbox One X, they're about the same height. When you stand the One X up, it's the same height. It is wider and beefier than the One X, that's for sure, but also it packs in more performance. So I'm excited to see that. I'm sorry again that I cannot show you because we have an under embargo, but stay tuned. I'm gonna show you the brand new setup process uh, to set up your Xbox, which should be, uh, I can't say anything, but stay tuned for that. And also stay tuned for gameplay. Let me know what you want to see on the system. Now, a quick word of advice, with that new design, and especially with the way ventilation and air goes out of the console, it is best not to put it into a cabinet that's closed. I would suggest putting it in an open cabinet space or most preferably just next to your TV. These cons this consoles are designed differently. This reminds me, the Series X reminds me of the NZX H1 Mini, which it is still smaller than that, of course, Mini ITX build. So if you have any questions, guys, or any comments, let me know. Don't forget to like, share it, definitely subscribe, hit that bell icon so you can watch more videos from us and always enjoy your entertainment. Hasbox, 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 Hasb